All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go in on this topic. Uh, you know, pretty much the title of this video is going to be Hold On. What's religious about that? You know, question mark. Um, because a lot of people, they try to say that the Bible is a religious book or that it's a book of fairy tales, you know, uh, some some make-believe uh, type of thing. Um, it's a fable and, uh, you know, it it has some, some truth in it, some people would say, but then it's also of the fact that you know the scriptures the scriptures don't lie man you know the scriptures uh is about faith you know in the in the in the Lord but the Lord gave us his people the the Israelites okay the the so-called negroes latinos and native americans he gave the laws of what he expect us to do okay and if you don't follow those laws you get jacked up. That's the same way, like like in America, every country has laws that they that they go by. Okay, Israel had laws that was given to us from the Lord, Lord, law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, now with that said, um, I got this scripture, Leviticus twenty and eleven. Okay, it says, And the man that lies with his father's wife has uncovered her, her father's, uh, his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be put upon them. Okay? So this is a situation where a son is having sex with his father's uh, woman. Okay? The scripture says that you're not supposed to do that. What's religious about that? Okay, um, it says, and if a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be, be upon them. Okay, so you as a man, and you got a son, and your son marries a woman, and you go to have sex with that woman, that's, that's, that's not how you're supposed to do things, man. What's religious about that, man? That's common sense. But common sense is not common because this type of shit goes on all the fucking time, man, in this society. Um, it says, if a man also lie with mankind, is he live with a woman? Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be, be upon them. Okay? You're not supposed to, you know, be a homosexual um, a lesbian, you have a, this thing, um, I'm gonna try to get that scripture, um, called trans, transgender, okay, um, Deuteronomy 23 and 1, he that is wounded in the stones or have his privy member cut off. So not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Okay? In, the, in in America, they say that you can change your sex from a man to a woman or from a woman to a man. Okay? That just going against the laws of nature, man. You know? Uh, the Bible is against that, man. You're not supposed to be changing your sex or trying to change your sex because you can't change your sex. You're still a male one way or another, but this this society it, it it promotes that. Okay, you can be whatever the heck you want to. Okay, and if you if you try to say the scriptures say this and the scriptures say that, they try to equate that to being religious. Okay, it says Leviticus twenty and fourteen, and if a man take a wife and her mother. It is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire 
both he and they, but that are that there be no wickedness among you. So you're not supposed to have a woman and her mother. Okay? And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them. Okay? Now, people, I've seen a video where a woman was sitting up there saying that women should try to have sex with dogs. You know, and that religious people say that is wrong. Well, that's fucking common sense, man. You know? You're not supposed to do that. Okay? The Bible says you're not supposed to, to, to have sex with animals, man. Okay? Or to have sex with, with uh, the same sex or or um, your, 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 your woman's mother. Okay? Uh, your close siblings. Okay? Um, next verse, it says, And if a man shall take his sister... Her fa his father's daughter or his mother's daughter and see her nakedness and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He have uncovered his sister's nakedness and he shall, be he shall bear his iniquity. Okay, and that's the type of stuff that Esau does in this society, man. Okay, they, they like having sex with, um, you know, what they call it incest. You know, you're not supposed to have sex with uh, your close siblings, man. Okay. Um, this is Leviticus 19 and 13. Okay, moving on with the, the topic or the, uh, the video, the lesson. Uh, Le Leviticus 19 and 13. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor... Neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with you all night until the morning. Okay? So, what's religious about this, man? Nothing. You know? The fact is that in this society, okay, you have to, um, when, you, when you work in this society... You uh sometimes you 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 um you get paid once a week. Sometimes you get paid uh uh twice uh twice uh I mean uh once once every week uh or every one every week or every two weeks or or sometimes uh 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 once a month. Okay. In this society, but the scriptures say that we're supposed to get paid every day. If I cut somebody's grass, okay, I want my money right then and there. You you don't make me wait two weeks to cut, you know, to, to get paid for that, man. Okay? Um, Our people are so, so gone in this society that they are they are actually okay with, with, with getting paid every two weeks. You know? And then and then when they get when you get paid, the so called white man takes out his money off top. Okay? The taxes and stuff, he taking out your he getting paid every day. But you gotta get paid every every two weeks or whatever the, the case is. And they taking their money out, okay? And people are okay with that. You know, they they say they make up an excuse. You know, I, I don't know how I would do if I if I got paid every day. You know, I probably be broke. You know, I, people are, are crazy. You already broke broke as is, man. And then like, let's hope. Hopefully, you ain't you ain't just starting off. You know, what working because they got this thing where you got to work a week in a hole. You know. So if you gotta work a week in a hole in order to get to work, like what the how the hell are you gonna get get back and forth to work, man? So you gotta you gotta borrow money for somebody else, and you know, and it's 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 this is wicked, man. You know, and people are are okay with this, um, this this oppression, man. Okay.
Um, moving on. This is Levit. I mean Deuteronomy twenty-eight, and I'm gonna just go through some of the curses. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and thirty. It says, "Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her." Okay. Um. This this happened in America. The the um. The American slavery. Okay, and this 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 is still happen happening uh today, man. You know, adultery is still going on out here, man. Going crazy, man. You know, it says, "Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein." Okay, and this this happened during slavery, man. Our people was building the houses, okay, and 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 who was dwelling in them houses, man? Okay, the fact that we even got to pay for water. The natural resources and stuff like that, man. You know? Like, what's religious about that? We're not supposed to be paying for that, that stuff, man. You know? Um, It says, Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Okay? Because our people was being oppressed, man. Okay? Um, Deuteronomy 32, 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in your hand. And this happened during slavery, man. And it's even happening today, man. So if the Bible is religion, hold on. What's religious about this, man? You know? What 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 is religious? Where is religion about the fact that you know, as soon as you had a, a, a child, the, the so-called white man just comes and just takes your baby and does whatever the hell he wants to with them, man. And you don't never see them again in your life, man. Um, This is, uh, let me get a couple more, man. You know, um... Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt you serve your enemies, which the Lord shall send against you, and hunger. And that's what we do. We 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 the people who sit up there and they say that the Bible is a religious book, but you gotta go to the to the to the market to get food and stuff like that. You don't know how long the food been been in that market, you know. Then the food that you're getting really don't even be enough. You know, you can't even get seconds anymore in this, this society, man. You know, um, if you wanted seconds, you know, the, the, the fruit go bad fast. Okay. And then even on, on top of that, this is also talking about slavery too, man. Okay. This is a twofold scripture, man. Okay. Cause our people was, was put in slavery and they was starving to death, man. Okay, it says, and in thirst, they wasn't drinking during slavery, and even when you look at today, you know, you gotta you gotta buy a bottle of water. Um, you can't even drink out the faucet. You know, Lord knows what what the hell that is coming out the faucet, man. You know, it says, and in nakedness. Oh, you even got even going into the in the thirst thing, man. You got that the uh the Flint, Michigan thing, man. Okay? It says, and in nakedness, our people was naked during slavery. And even even still today, man, like you gotta you gotta um you gotta go to them for, for the clothes and all that stuff, man. You know? And then when you when you do go to them for the clothes, the, the shit that they be selling don't even be fucking manly no more, man. It be looking like stuff that's that's pertaining to women, man. You know, you can't even just get a regular uh, uh a regular hoodie. You know, the, the hoodie gotta come with, with thousands of zippers and stuff on there, man. You know? And then if you go get the cheap stuff, the cheap stuff don't even be lasting that long, man. It says, and in want of all things. So we got to go to through this society for everything, man. Okay, it says, and that's what happened also during slavery, man. They, the slaves wanted uh, freedom and everything, man. You know? 
Without you know, they they wanted a lot of stuff back then, man. But they wasn't able to do, to do that, man. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck until he, until he have destroyed you. And that happened during slavery, man. So if the Bible is, you know, a religious book, man, what's religious about these these things that are you know being brought out, man? Okay. Um, this is Isaiah. I mean Psalms. 147 and 19, he saw of his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay? Um, when you look at the Bible, okay, during the time of, of Moses, okay, the Lord uh, brought the, the Israelites from out of, from out of uh, Egypt, okay, and established them as a nation. Okay, and now you have a situation where, hold on, let's try to find this article. Now you have a situation where the place called Israel, they just celebrated um, the Independence Day. Uh the 69th Independence Independence Day, okay, um, which I believe they came into independence around 1949, okay. Now, the Bible, the the the, the Lord, um, back during the time of Moses, okay, the Lord already set up Israel as a nation. They was already independent. So why in the heck? Now, all of a sudden, they, the 69, uh, 69 years oh, yeah, of, of independence, man, it don't make sense and it don't add up. So this shows you that these people are not the real Jews according, or real Israelites according to the Bible, man. Because they've only been in, in, in recogni recognized as a nation for 69 uh, years, man. Okay? And, and, and also, they don't, they don't keep the lost... The law, statutes, and commandments is is written in the Bible, okay. Um, Psalms one forty nine and um, one forty seven and nineteen. He saw of his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his commandments. I mean judgments unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Now, if those people who call themselves uh, Israel Okay, who live in the land of Israel. Okay, they don't call themselves Israelites. They call themselves Israeli. Okay, if they're the real chosen people, okay, when the heck did they go into any of these things, you know, their chosen being taken away from them? Okay, the, the fact of them being in want of all things or serving their enemies and stuff like that. When has that ever happened? Okay. Um, Amos 3 and... uh. One, I'm going to get this and I'm going to finish it. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family. I mean, yeah, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? And our people was punished, man. Put put into slavery and put in even, even still to this day, man. Based off the fact that our people couldn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments that's written in these scriptures, man. Okay? But, um, with that, man, hopefully this was a, was an edifying lesson. You know, that's, that's, it's just common sense, man. You know? This Bible is not religion, man. Okay? Um, I just want to, uh, you know, give all praises on and glory to y'all by Shem Yahweh you know, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Salawam, to all the Akim that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. You know, Salawam.